My name is Ian Chavay. I'm from Boskrain, Randburg. My family and I have been here for three years. One of the appealing things about living here was the fact that it wasn't like living in Joburg. It felt like we were close to nature, living in nature. The Boskrain Kopi is visible from miles away. I mean, you can see it from Santon, you can see it from the top of William Nickel, the highway. It's, it's, a, it's quite a landmark. The general area is quite scenic. So when you arrive here, you're usually confronted by either guinea fowl, dassies, rabbits running around. And then there's obviously a lot of bird life. We have owls, you often see black eagles on the kopje itself, peacocks, guinea fowl, you name it. So anywhere you are in this area, you're surrounded by pretty much nature. So around November 2015, we found out that there was a proposed development on this stretch of kopje that we're on at the moment. And fortunately, we were able to, to talk to the local community policing forum and arrange the meeting with ourselves, a few of us uh, as residents, and the developer. He showed us the plans that involved between 30 and 70 units on this particular stretch. And obviously we were all very upset by it because it meant that the dynamics of the kopje and this area were going to change if that went ahead. So the, the idea was four-storey units with the roof line being just slightly lower than the actual kopi. Six blocks of six units, four storeys high. So, I mean, one can only imagine massive amounts of excavation, massive amounts of moving, which in itself is going to be very disruptive to the area, the nature around here as well. And just sad, I mean, as you look here, it's, it's pretty pristine, so this would be gone. If you're familiar with the animals and the wildlife here, you'll, you'll notice that this is the area where they forage. So if, if this land is developed, this foraging area would be lost firstly. The animals would be forced to forage in other people's houses or they would have to cross the road, which would make it dangerous for them. And then of course the destruction of trees and bird life would be quite tremendous. This ridge is uh, recognized by council as a stage four or a class four ridge, also a critical biodiversity area. The only other examples are Melville copies, Norscot copies, there's a few of them which are being protected and there's no development happening on them. So we're, we're obviously very concerned that sort of policies aren't followed in the process of the developer and the owner seeking to have this land developed. One option available is for people to chip in and potentially try and buy the land. Uh, as we understand it, the, the land is valued at around 7.2 7 million rand but that's not really a feasible option at this stage. Another option would be for common sense to prevail and for the owner to preserve this land as it is for future generations, for his family to enjoy and to leave it as it is for the sake of the fact that nature should be protected. An application has to be made to council to have this land recognized as a township. That would then allow the developer to build high density units here. So once the developer puts in his application, he's obliged to advertise in the newspaper. So we, we're encouraging as many residents as possible to keep an eye on the paper. And once the application goes into council, we would have 28 days to object. Objecting would just ensure that the right processes are followed, in particular environmental impact studies that probably need to be done here to make sure that if we're not supposed to be developing on this land that it isn't developed or at least that if it is going to be developed that it's done responsibly and make sure that no corners are cut. The idea really is just to protect it if we can because in 20 years from now when our kids are growing up in the area and they won't have this to enjoy. So if anybody wants to help or get involved or at least just stay informed about what's happening on the kopi uh, they're more than welcome to join the, the Save the Borscrank Copy Facebook page. They just have to like the page and follow the updates there and assist any way they can when the time is right. There's not a lot of space available where, you know, where wildlife can just be. And um, to invade it for a couple of extra units is, I don't understand it at all. Personally, I think that it's very short-sighted and it's you know, it's a bit selfish to take away the home, the natural habitat of so many animals that people love and come and visit. The Randburg's full of lots of other areas where they could possibly develop. And yeah, I think it would be very sad. 
we should be taking further efforts to reverse the copy to a state in which it previously was and not developing on it further and making it worse than it already is. I think as soon as that building starts, it's just going to take that natural wildlife away. I just feel that they are going to destroy our natural heritage. And once that's gone, you can't bring it back.